Yo, what to do, buddy? Martin Kobe having a good day. Today's video is just going to be a short little recap of the live stream that Gun Interactive just had. I'm not going to go over every single thing they talked about, so if you want to check out the full stream, go over to Gun Interactive's Twitch channel on Twitch. But we did get some pretty good news about upcoming updates and content. Let's just get into it and subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss anything on Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's get it. All right, first up, the content that we were supposed to get within the 90 day mark. Yeah, basically the rest of that 90 day content got delayed. So what we didn't get was a museum mode, a new family member, and also an execution pack. So those three things got delayed and we're not gonna get it within the 90 day mark. They gotta keep working on it until it's ready pretty much. And then they're gonna start revealing it soon, hopefully soon. Next thing they mentioned is that we're actually getting a new update on April 30th. So that's just in about a week and five days. So now this update is mainly gonna contain bug fixes and stuff like that, but we're also getting a new piece of content. We're actually getting a new outfit for a family member. And that's pretty much all the details we got. We don't know who this outfit is for, like which family member, but they should be revealing this outfit pretty dang soon because again this update comes out in a week and five days now i'm just gonna throw a random guess i think this outfit's gonna be either for the cook or for hitchhiker because those are like the only two family members that we don't got a new outfit for and yes we don't have an outfit for black nancy yet but she is one of the newer characters and i'm just thinking that they want to give one of the older characters an outfit first before nancy you know what i'm saying and also another thing is that these family skins they each will cost three dollars instead of five dollars like the victim skins and that's because the victim skins they come with an outfit and a whole bunch of different colors but these family skins they only come with one skin and that's it no additional colors so again the family skins will be three bucks and the victim skins will stay five bucks and alongside this update on april 30th is that we're actually going to get a free thing coming with this update but apparently it's supposed to be cool and it's free content now to be honest i have no idea what this free thing is let me know down below if you have any thoughts all right moving on another thing that they announced during the live stream is that we're going to actually get updates every two weeks from now on now to be honest i think we're already in this two week update cycle thing because we just got an update two days ago which was the 16th and then two weeks from then is april 30th which is the next update and then they're just going to keep continuing releasing updates every two weeks so these mini updates that we're going to get every two weeks the stuff that's going to be in these updates is going to be exactly like the update we just got two days ago so it's going to contain bug fixes and one new skin for a character and as you already know the update that we're getting on a 30th it's going to be same thing bug fixes a new skin for a character and so on and so forth also with the skins i'm pretty sure they're going to keep rotating from victim to family to victim to family and that's pretty much all the content they talked about in this live stream but we do got some other things that they mentioned like the leatherface stun so what happens right now when you stun leatherface with the door he actually get nudged just a little bit he doesn't get knocked down fully to the ground. And to be honest, I think this new stun for Leatherface is fine. The only thing that they need to fix, I think personally, is that just make the stun duration a little bit longer. Because right now it feels like as soon as you get stunned by that door, just like a split second later, you're able to move again. So maybe just add like maybe three to four seconds of longer stun duration, and then I think it will be fine. And that's pretty much everything I have. Again, if you want to watch everything what they mentioned, then go ahead and check out the live stream on Twitch. But thanks for watching. Smack like if you enjoyed, and subscribing that bell icon to be notified every time we upload a brand new video. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.